Addiction runs deep in my family. We run the gamut with gambling, alcohol, and drugs. I followed one of my older brother's footsteps, and by the time I was 13, I started smoking and drinking. By the time I was 16, I was doing hardcore drugs, and at 18, I was dealing and transporting cocaine from Washington State to California on the plane. I was caught, <laughs> handcuffed, arrested, put behind bars, and I was court ordered to attend rehab for a year and a half. I have since overcome my addiction to drugs, but addiction is not something that you can easily contain. In other words, it's not something that happens for five years or 10 years and then stops once the destructive habit has changed. It comes with layers upon layers of dysfunction and has a ripple effect that impacts lifetimes and generations within a family unit. This is what brought me back to Seattle just 11 months ago and through these CSL doors. My father's gambling addiction had put him $250,000 in the hole, and he was 22 days away from losing his home. He came to me begging for help. My dad is old, he can barely walk. My mom is codependent, angry, dysfunctional. She was hysterical, I had to do something. We saved the home, but in the process of doing so, I got sucked right into the toxicity and the codependency of his disease. At the same time, in the same month, in December, another family member of mine was arrested on drug charges. Bail was set at $1 million. The thought of losing another family member, this one to prison, brought me to my knees. And as if this wasn't enough, at the same time in December, I had to come to terms with the fact that I had somehow mired myself into yet another addiction, this time to toxic and abusive relationships with men who emotionally and psychologically tore me apart. I was broken, and I didn't know what to do. But I did do one thing. I put a prayer in the prayer box, <laughs> and I started going to Beyond Limits. And what I have learned since then has changed my life forever. Emmett Fox writes in The Seven Main Aspects of God, when someone is misbehaving, look for the presence of God in him. Oh, so you want me to find God in my aging, miserable dad who was in total denial, who was abusing my mom, disowned my brothers, throwing thousands of dollars away every single month, coming to me asking for money and lying to my face? <laughs> I learned to simply ask, God, come forth. And God did. My dad still gambles. But I am liberated from the belief that I need to change him. And I'm liberated from the belief that he needs to be changed at all. God came forth, and for the first time in my life, I saw the eternal innocence and the beauty and the perfection in my daddy. I learned that surrender works. And that prayer box right down there is a powerful little prayer box. One million dollars reduced to zero. And my little family member is back at home. And lastly, I learned that love for myself is the answer. I must love myself and love myself and love myself so that I never, ever Settle again for anybody who does not love me the way that I love me.